Zach and I were walking around the farmer's market one day and we just realized that there's nobody here growing mushrooms. That we could be a part of the community, we could be the mushroom guys, is I think exactly how we put it. Um, we didn't know anything about yield, we didn't know anything about price, so we didn't know if it was a business per se, but we were going to do it as a hobby to start at least. When we try to grow some blue oysters, our, our bread and butter crop at this point, but we were so infatuated, they're so pretty, they're blue, you know, and uh, we just wanted to grow them. Yeah, we were literally growing them in like these little plastic tubs on the front porch of our apartments, you know, people walking by them every day. Um, they were so ugly, like real st all stem, little bitty caps, um, but yeah, we've... But we did grow them. We did grow them. It's all kind of a blur because we did everything so quickly. Uh, you know, we got some money together and bought our first little building over there as a trial and we did everything inside that little building and boy we worked hard because we were running trying to run a trying to start a farm and build a lot of infrastructure all at the same time you know we thought about calling it fat mountain and then there was we thought about calling it round top because there's like one of the hills over here that you can see in the distance is called round top but there was already like a round mountain farm. Round mountain farm at the, at, farmer's, at the market. farmer's market and stuff like that. And then I think it was Zach that just blurted out fat top. Mm -hmm. Let's see, we've got four different kinds of oyster mushrooms. We've got blue oyster, white oyster, pink oyster, golden oyster. We've got shiitakes for now. We've got chestnut or cinnamon caps. And uh, I feel like there's one. Lion's oh, lion's mane. We like to grow about 600 pounds a week would be our, our goal. I think right now we're probably around somewhere between 400 some weeks, 500 some weeks. Because the mushrooms, they have a shelf life of about nine days. I mean, they're good for longer, but after about nine days, they start getting ugly. So we kind of realized pretty early on that there's a cap locally that we can sell. You know, there's only so many restaurants mm -hmm. that are gonna spend the extra money for the higher quality mushrooms. There's only so many that we can sell at farmer's market on Saturday. And I think around 2018, we started drying mushrooms. It, it became an issue of, it was hard to predict the exact demand, you know, of what you could sell every week. You either undergrew and left customers wanting, or you overgrew and were having to throw mushrooms away. The, the two products we're, we're really focusing on right now, and our food product, the end of our business, is mushroom jerky and mu the mushroom broth. What we do is we cut the caps off the mushrooms, uh, the oyster mushrooms to make the jerky out of the caps. And then the stems we roast and then we, we cook with other vegetables and herbs and stuff and that's what we make our broth out of. So at the end of the day, there's no waste. It had to taste good. It had to not feel like health food. That was always kind of a thing of ours. Is, and a lot of people go for that, but then they end up settling somewhere along the way. It just so happened that we had, a pro, had the oyster mushrooms. Just some, we had a good thing to start with. For any growth in the future, we're putting all that effort into our, our, our food products. Because mm -hmm. that's the thing that we could ship to Washington State if we wanted to and, mm -hmm. and still be good. It, it has a shelf life of a, a year versus nine days on the mushrooms. We answer the community and they're a lot better to answer to. Uh, they can be just as vicious as any boss, let me tell you, but I'd rather just answer to somebody who's interested in what we have to offer mm -hmm. than somebody who's not. We've, we've changed the way people eat, even if it's just a little. Yeah. There's people around here that eat oyster mushrooms and lion's mane mushrooms on a regular basis mm -hmm. that never even considered it before we started.